Hello and welcome. Now for the whole of 2020, I've been attempting a no buy slash low buy. This is my final monthly update for the year. This is for December. So we're going to talk about how much I made, how much I spent and what were the categories I did my spending in and therefore how much I spent in each category, as well as how much I was able to save during the month. I'm going to share with you the new things I brought into my life. I have a couple of things I purchased myself, as well as some Christmas gifts I was given and one hand-me-down item, I believe, and the products that I used up as per usual. Now this is my last monthly update for 2020. I am so excited. After I finish filming this video I'm going to go sit down and work out all of the figures and the numbers of how much I saved, how many products I used, how many products I purchased during 2020 and just look at how successful this challenge was as a whole. So that's going to be the next video I film later on today hopefully if I get enough time. I've been very busy with work so that's why these videos are a little bit behind. But yeah now we're just going to do the December rundown as we usually do these videos. So first is the products that I have used up. I have woo, a total of six to share with you. The first ones are these which are kind of like more product products. The other two are a bit random. So I have some organic iron that I use. I don't really take this supplement consistently. It's just sort of when and as I feel like I need it. But I have finished that one this month. I have some tri-magnesium, which I also take in the evenings, kind of around if I exercise. And I don't exercise all the time, which is why it's taken me a long time to get through this 120 caps of magnesium. But that one's now finished. I have a spagni lavender, which is kind of like a body oil that I've been using up and is now finished. And then I have some hyaluronic acid, which is what I just use as part of my skincare routine as sort of a moisturizing product. And then the other two, so those are the producty things. And then the other two random things I have. First is this notebook. Um, it's kind of like my messy dump zone notebook. So I have my bullet journal where I keep things quite neat and organized and nice. And then this is the sort of like pre-draft sometimes before I do things in my bullet journal or it's where I scribble YouTube ideas. It's where I work out the math for my invoices and the math for how much I've spent at the end of the month and things like that. So it is now completely full. And so I'll be recycling this and then I have another one that I will move into. And then the next thing I used up was actually this, which is my old phone case. So it's actually in the new phone cases, ah, <laughs> new phone cases box. But um, yeah, pretty much it started to fall apart. I've had it for about five years, so it has served me really, really well. I've not once had to replace or like fix anything on my phone or the screen or anything like this. So it has been really sturdy and I've dropped my phone a lot. But what happened is pretty much the bottom part of the case fell out. I did have it taped in there with some electrical tape because the phone obviously just kept slipping out. But then I was like... Mm, I really need to get a new case because if I drop my phone it defeats the purpose of having the case and trying to protect it and make the phone last longer. So that has now reached the end of its life and I have gotten a new one. I kind of got a uh, one that's very similar in like design and style and everything. I really like it when it says this that you can drop it from 2.4 meters. Um, so that's kind of like what I went for in the new one. I was going to get the compostable pellet case, but for me, I just didn't feel sturdy enough and I really wanted to get something that's going to protect my phone so that my phone lasts longer. And for me, that's more of a priority, I guess, compared to the case. And because this one has lasted me for five years, I do really feel like I got a lot of wear out of it. So that was the thing I used up. Now, this was the first thing that I purchased, which was a new phone case, of course. So. Those are those things. Now, the other thing I purchased this month was this, which is a little pouch. We all know how much I love a pouch. Um, as you can tell by this shelf that is pretty much lots of different pouches compartmentalized with different categories of things that I have. But this one I got because I needed something for my cash envelopes. And I really love it because it has two compartments. So the back bit is where I'm keeping my sinking funds. Um, so that's, yeah, if you've been watching the cash stuffing videos, you know what those are and what is going on there so struggling to get it back in and then the front one is really helpful because that's where I keep my metaphorical bank so if I'm to spend anything in um, like anything from my sinking funds on my card I just take the cash out of the sinking fund I put it here and then when I get the cash out at the beginning of the month when I'm then gonna go and restuff my envelopes which is why this is really full because I have to do a new stuffing video I then can put it in here as well so that just like keeps it nice and organized having the two different sections so 
yeah, I got this one and it's really cute. And I know I didn't really need another pouch, but look, it's a mild addiction that I'm kind of really willing to like go along with. So those are the two things I purchased. I received one hand-me-down this month, which was from my friend. She was just getting rid of this and this is just like a cropped t-shirt, which is really good for those um, far and few between times when I exercise. Um, so that's what that one's for, is like when I go running and things like that. And then onto the Christmas presents. So with my friends, they usually give me an experience or like something sort of along those lines, like we'll go out and we'll have a nice meal together. And then I have, because my birthday is November, a lot of people tend to combine my birthday and Christmas. So from my family, I got a little bit of money from my grandma and from my dad. And so that was given to me at my birthday, which also counted as my Christmas present. That's what happens when you're in like a November, December time. Um, but I did get a few presents specifically from like my client's family. So one of the things I got was these beautiful silk pajamas. I think they're silk and cotton. Um, and that's from one of my clients, mums. She's really amazing at picking out gifts and I'm so, so happy with this because I don't really have pajamas. I kind of just sleep in t-shirts. Um, but yeah, it's very nice to have these. So that was one Christmas present I was given. I was then given like one or two other items from another client. However, I'm moving overseas. I'm just not really going to use those items. So I did give them to like family friends. I kind of re-gifted them. Um, although that technically wasn't their Christmas present. It was just like a bonus added in with what I had already gotten them for Christmas. And then a friend did get me this, which is a little Dr. Hauschka lip balm because they know that I really like this. So those are the items I received from Christmas and I'm very happy with it. It was like only a few things um, and yeah, the things I didn't feel like I could use, I just gave them to someone else that would actually utilize them. So anyway, those are all the things. Now let's talk about the money. And I think like the month of December has probably been one of the best months for me in regards to shopping. Like I only purchased two items myself and I was thinking about why that was. And I think partly I wanted to end the year really strong, but I think also because December was a time when I was shopping for other people and buying their Christmas presents, I was still getting that little high of shopping. I was just doing it for other people. So that was kind of interesting to think about for myself. Um, but I also, yeah, I've kind of gotten to the point where I'm very happy with where my rules are and I've made adjustments for the coming year and I'm really excited to start 2021 and keep powering through. So let's find December. Sorry, I should have had this opened and ready to go. So for the month of December, I made a total of $9,515.58. I spent a total of $1,663.79. That gives me a grand savings of $7,851.79. Now, um, there's quite a few new people to my channel because of these updates. So I'm just going to mention that when I talk about my income, I'm talking about it as a gross income. Taxes haven't come out of that, nor has like business expenses and insurances. So I'm self-employed. My role is to, or like the work that I do is to support folks who live with disabilities in their day-to-day -day life. And I'm a support worker. I get paid so well because I am self-employed and I run my own company. If I was to work for an agency, I'd get paid a lot less. I'm also very fortunate to work for some really generous clients that pay me really well. So that's a big contributor to the kind of income level that I have. Um, and I also work, <laughs> I do work hard and I do work quite a lot of hours. So anyway, I will talk about the math when I do my end of year review. So I will take out the tax and everything and give you the real clear figures of exactly how much I would have saved for the whole year. But for now, we're just going to leave it at that. So to break down how much I spent of the $1,663.79. So for gas, I spent $239.14. So I think I did a little bit more driving this month for work than I usually do. Um, but yeah, that's not really a problem. It's kind of an essential because I usually allocate about 200. Groceries was $197.16. So that was perfect. That came just at the budget of 200. Eating out with friends. I had a really another good, like successful month in terms of that. And I spent $140 where previously I've been spending like over $200, which is usually what I budget. So that has been really lovely, which means I have some leftover rollover for the coming month. Things, I spent a total of $50 on the two items that I purchased. My cat, I spent $48 on her food, her litter. Um, yeah, that's all I had to get for her. 
Bills was a total of $495, so $100 each week for rent because I'm very fortunate to be able to stay with a family member, so I pay a lot less than if I was renting somewhere else. $70 for internet and $25 for my phone. Gifts slash experiences. This was the biggest spending category, obviously coming up to Christmas time. I spent a lot of money on gifts for people. So the category, I spent $371.44, and I would say most of that was Christmas gifts because I only went to the movies like once and I watched an online stand-up comedian show and um, of James A. Kester, but that was all I did. Uh, miscellaneous was $80 for my physio and eating out with my client I spent $43.05. So yeah, that was December. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I feel like in terms of my spendings I've really gotten it to about two, just under $2,000 a month. Um, which is really good. That's kind of my aim is to always spend sort of less than 500 a week. So I'm on track with that. I'm really excited for the coming year and to continue this no buy, low buy. And I have officially booked my flights to leave Australia. So that's going to be happening and I'll be swapping currencies. And yeah, my income is going to change dramatically. Um, but I'm really excited to just see how it all goes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you are having a great day, evening, and I will see you next time. Bye.